we're on the road. Where transportation goes, community grows. Welcome to On the Road with the MTA. And welcome to another edition of On the Road with the MTA. I'm Jay Gibbons alongside with Stephanie Kay from the MTA. How is Stephanie today? Well, I'm doing well. I was outside, was inside my studio, I, I should say office, watching outside, and they are paving our driveway now. Yes. It's an interesting process to watch what they're doing. Uh, I guess you must be bored. You must not have enough work to do. <laughs> oh, I couldn't help it. It was like a movie. I was watching that. They get a little machine, and they have to clean out all the little cracks, first of all, the debris out of there, and they have to seal that in, and they have to you know do the whole sealer across the top and have to paint the lines on it. How long is that going to take? Do you have any idea? I think it's just today or over the In weekend. One day, really? I think okay. It's over the weekend, yeah. Well, you can smell the tar. And I had one coworker said, I can't take the smell. I got to go home. Sorry, the last two hours I'm going to stay home. I thought, I don't mind it. There's, <laughs> there's certain smells I don't mind that most people get disgusted by. I don't mind tar. I don't mind, um, like, you know, black top. I don't mind that. I don't mind gas, the smell of gas in a car. Like, really? gas, I don't mind that. How about there, you? I don't know. There's something about you, Stephanie. Maybe we should, uh... <laughs> I know. My boyfriend loves it. I don't mind too many bad smells. <laughs> they don't. I also don't mind like a marker, like, you know, magic marker. Oh, How about you? Really? Uh, no, my cravings are basil, coffee, chocolate. Well, those are good smelling things. I'm talking yeah. about something that doesn't smell good that you don't mind. Like my daughter said she doesn't mind a skunk. I thought, oh, gross. That's, 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 that's stinky to me. <laughs> yeah. that's uh, Well, there's not really anything that, I, yeah. No? Maybe, no, nah, not really. No, like no. Parmesan cheese smells like dirty socks. I don't care for that. I just mean things I, I that, like Parmesan cheese a lot, yes. And garlic. I love the smell of garlic. Well, see, there you go. That's something people don't like so much. So, okay. So thank you for redeeming my weirdness. I appreciate <laughs> that. Jeez. I felt like weird for, for a second there. Anyway, we, there's weird smells that we like, but there's also weird things that we like. And there's some wonderful things that we like that's going on right now. In Fenton, there Ooh. is something going on, and it is going to be fun for the entire family it is called World of Wonder at the Fenton Area Public Schools on Saturday, August 12th from 10 until 1. And it's something that's called the End of Summer Community of Fun, so the social. Okay. And we, we have Becky Duncan on with us right now talking about that. Becky, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. You bet. Well, I know, how long has this been going on, this uh, wonderful free event for people in Fenton? This will be the first year we are doing it under this uh, design. We've been doing it a, a activity similar to this for several years, but we're kind of morphed into something different. So the community social is the first year for that. Oh, all right. Well, it looks like it says it's a pop-up adventure. Play events uh, are free to the public. Is it anybody or just the uh, Fenton area? It is anybody. This Anybody who uh, wants to come and attend is welcome to attend. They don't have to attend Fenton schools or World of Wonder. We want to celebrate children and any children are welcome and their families. Well, it looks like it's um, also going to be experiencing the community resources that you have out there. So people can just find out more resources they might have to um, use one day. Yes, exactly. So we're running this event in partnership with FAR, which is Fenton Area Resources and Referral Network, Fenton Arts Council, the Qantas Club of Fenton, and Community Threads of Fenton. They're all kind of partnering with us. I'm familiar with um, all and of then those. We've also, yeah. Yep. And we've also invited other resources. Flint's Children's Museum will be here. Oh. Form Our Nature Preserve will be here with their on the road bus. Um, and then we'll have our community share room open for families to shop um, for some free, gently used items that they need. Uh, Genesee County Health Department is coming. They're going to be doing the vision and hearing screening for the incoming kindergartners that they need to start school. So, and we're hoping to have our, you know, local fire department and police department here oh, as well. Fun. Kids will love that for sure. Well, I know that um, MTA has a trolley that already goes through the Fenton area and you would request if we could help you out by transporting people back and forth for the event. And I'm so glad to say that MTA is able to help to support that. And it will have the um, trolley out there taking people back and forth. Yes, I'm thrilled that that's going to be able to happen. I think it would just be a fun um, experience for kids and their families to be able to take a little ride on the trolley because um, they see it drive by, I'm sure, during the days when they're around town. So People love the trolley. I wish we had about a thousand of them because everybody wants the trolley, but you <laughs> happen to get it for Saturday, August 12th from 10 until 1. So tell us everything else that people can expect once they get there, Becky. So part of the pop-up adventure play is that it's free for, for the community and it's a way for children to interact with big materials and build and be able to take a risk and just have unstructured play. Um, and so we're going to be having a ton of materials we're bringing out to the big lawn. Um, we've got big blue blocks, cardboard structures, things they can build with and, and um, experience with. We'll have water play, um, an art area, and um, I'm thinking we might get a music area out there as well. Mm. Um, there's going to be games they can participate in. And then, of course, the um, 
uh, the community resources that'll be here. I think that FAR is bringing a bounce house. Oh, fun. So and this is all great. free for everyone? Absolutely, yes. You okay. said FAR is bringing out a bounce house? That's far out. Uh, <laughs> it is far out. <laughs> At least one of them. <laughs> yeah, how to go. There it is, yeah. Very funny. Well, that sounds like fun for the entire family. And my gosh, families have to love this because it's expensive to take kids out to have a good time. But if they can do the bounce house and games and all the free valuable information that you give to, that's just, just wonderful. How long have you said this has been going on now? Like, was this the, not the first year? No, correct. No, we've been doing like a back to school bash probably for the last eight years, I would say. And that was more um, centered around um, the, the free backpacks and resources and haircuts right. and shoes that families could get. And then we added the pop-up adventure play to it to um, entice other families to come with their children. Um, but there's been some other community uh, re- community groups that have kind of taken that part of the um, aspect out of it. They're doing a back to school blast um, actually this weekend. Um, and so we decided to kind of reshape our event and just have it focused solely on families and children and celebrating them. Well, if somebody is listening right now and they want to be part of this or they have a question about it or maybe they want to volunteer or donate something, maybe they have something they want to bring like a bounce house. How can they get a hold of you to make that happen? Um, I, they can give us a call um, at the school here. Our phone number is 810-591-8349 um, or they could shoot an email to me. Um, my email is B as in Becky, Duncan, D-U-N-C-A-N at FentonSchools.org. What do you do there at Fenton Schools, Becky? What's your position? I am a GSRP teacher. Um, GSRP is the free state-funded program for four-year-olds. And um, I also run the summer camp for the school-aged children in the summertime. Does every school have that program, or is that just pretty much in the Fenton area? A lot of schools do in Genesee County, but not every school. I did not know about that. So it's free for the Mm -hmm. four-year-olds. That's really nice. I didn't know they had that. That is kind of neat. Isn't it though? All yeah, things- families, families qualify based on income um, and sometimes potential risk factors. Um, and yeah, it's it's free. So it's really wonderful to have that ability for families to might not have that extra money to t- send their kids to preschool. Well, you know, I was a single mom and I didn't know about all these activities, these opportunities. It seemed like they all started to come to fruition as, as I got older. I learned yeah. about them, but I didn't know about them when mm-hmm. I was younger. But this is wonderful to have. Well, thank you for taking your time away from your busy schedule, Becky, to let us know about this wonderful event. No problem. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Well, hopefully we'll see you then on Saturday, August 12th from 10 until 1 in Fenton. It's going to be a great time. And thank you for listening every week as we bring you something fun, something free, something helpful for the community with the On the Road with the MTA, Stephanie Kay, and of course, Jay. That's me. Thanks for listening. And let us know if you'd like to be on the podcast or if you have anything you'd like to share with us. You've been listening to On the Road with the MTA. For more information on our services and community outreach, visit us online anytime at www.mtaflint.org. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. The MTA, your community, your connection, your way.